There is a new push from very different corners to learn more about exactly what the FBI sees from the home of former President Donald Trump three weeks ago today. And a big question, what was at risk to national security or intelligence assets like spies working for the U.S. government because Mr. Trump kept sensitive secrets at his private club in Florida? This morning, the latest twists on the Trump FBI search. Two separate moves for Mar-a-Lago damage control. First, the director of national intelligence has told key leaders in Congress that she has launched an assessment of the potential risk to national security. If secrets seized from the former president's home had been compromised, 11 sets of classified documents were removed in the search plus another 184 classified documents recovered earlier, as described in the affidavit. Democrats say that danger is real. He could be putting our national security at risk. He could be putting the lives of individual people who work for the United States at risk. And the second legal twist. A Florida federal judge appointed by President Trump writes that she is prepared to grant his request to appoint what's known as a special master an independent official to review everything seized by the FBI. The judge also wants a more detailed list of what was removed and where those documents are now. Judge Aileen Cannon is giving the DOJ until tomorrow to respond. Some Republicans say more oversight of this investigation is needed. If you're going to take unprecedented precedented action and raid a former president's house, well, you better have a strategy for unprecedented transparency. But other Republicans say Mr. Trump should have complied immediately. I understand he turned over a lot of documents. He should have turned over all of them. And it'll be up to DOJ whether or not that reaches the level of indictment. But this is disgusting in my mind. And, uh, and, and like this, no president should act this way, obviously. Still, Mr. Trump's allies warn such a move by the DOJ could be met with major backlash. I'll say this. If there's a prosecution of Donald Trump for mishandling classified information, there'll be riots in the streets. Former President Trump has used his social media to insist he has done nothing wrong and to repeatedly accuse the Justice Department and FBI of political persecution, even prosecutorial misconduct. And there will be a hearing this Thursday on that issue involving the special master. Craig? Kelly O'Donnell for us there in Washington. Kelly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.